Welcome back to the wonderful week of chair pose. Are you liking it any better now that you're stronger? Remember, I'm gonna ask you to send in those videos at the end of the week, so keep working on it. And let's move on with some dynamic chair pose. So we're gonna move through it a little bit and really use the strength of the legs and the whole body. Again, let's remember those key points as we set it up. So the weight, press through the balls of the foot, really feel those feet engage, pull the toes back. You can even do this in a yoga class as you're kind of getting into it. Pull the toes back and see what it feels like to really be in those feet. Send the seat back. Now I ditched my block today, so we're gonna use the hands against the outer thighs. I'm pressing my outer thighs out and my hands in, and I'm really resisting here. See my biceps fire up, yeah. And I'm really sitting back, weight in the heels. Again, key point, knees over the ankles. They don't fall over the toes. You need to be able to see your toes. Even if that means you have to come up a little. Again, working on form rather than getting as low as you can. Tailbone long, belly scoops under. Reach the chest forward to me, come this way. Good, without coming out of those heels. Sit down, now the arms float up. Shoulder blades pull down the back. If you want a little more kind of work in the arms, you can press the hands together, look up at them and engage the biceps. Otherwise, just hold it here. Good, Whew, I feel my core firing up, feel my belly. I'm gonna sit a little bit lower, elongate the spine a little bit more. And as I inhale, I'm gonna push my feet into the floor and rise to stand. Ribs lift, exhale, they soften down, navel to spine, sit back in that chair. Now I want you to try to go as slow as I'm going and really work through the movement with me. Push the feet into the floor, ground down, use the strength of the legs, lift, inhale, exhale. Shoulders keep sliding down the back. Good, now watch these knees don't buckle in, open them up. Good, you can even kick the heels out a little bit to make sure those feet are parallel and not turned out, inhale up. You can take a slight pelvic tilt at the top, a slight, slight, a slight squeeze of the glutes, exhale down. One more, we're gonna go inhale up, exhale down. Now I'm gonna ask you to bring your feet together. We're gonna do a little bit more of a fitness move here. You can bring your hands to your heart center, press your palms in towards each other and pull the shoulder blades back onto the back, okay? So it's not this with the shoulders dropping forward. They're really pulling back. Now from here, we're gonna take squats and chair pose. So you're gonna step out, hold it, and together, in. Every time, I want the inner thighs connecting. Good. Out and in. Feel the glutes. Maybe sit a little lower. You can pulse down and in. Yes, connect the ankles every time. So don't get wishy-washy about it here. Really step in and squeeze the inner thighs together. Pulse down and in. Now hold the chair with closed legs. Draw the shoulder blades onto the back. Now you can go up, sit back down. You can go out and in. Good. And let's try one more set like that. Where's your tailbone? Is it sticking up? Draw it down and long. Good, go up. Feel the inner thighs engage. Feel the hands press together. Down, out, and in. Woo, how you doing? Great job, guys. Those dynamic chairs are looking really great. Now remember, your homework is to work just in chair pose and to stabilize and hold for as long as you can, because on Friday you're gonna get ready to send in those videos. We'll see you then.